Hi, uh, welcome you again. I'm Sabina Ahmed, and this is lecture four. And you will watch some examples from physics, chemistry, and mathematics, and how you can implement these equations uh, using MATLAB coding. Okay, so these examples will be compromised from mathematics, physics, chemistry, and some and something. All these things comprises with this. So we will see some mathematical arbitrary functions, how we can solve some mathematical arbitrary functions using MATLAB. And we will also see some thermodynamic equations, how to solve those with arbitrary constant values or something like that. We will also evaluate gravity, how gravity varies uh, uh, varies with R, that means radius, uh, that means the size of the objects or the mass of the objects. Okay, and we will also see the spring constant. Uh, related values okay so at first we will see some mathematical arbitrary functions these are very easy and then gradually we will go to the complex examples okay so let's see what are the ma mathematical arbitrary functions okay so in mathematical arbitrary functions we will see uh, we will evaluate some arbitrary functions say y equal to x and y equal to minus x that is uh, we we will have some data of x and then uh, we'll co we'll compute y using the x data okay then we'll another function y equal to x square then another function y equal to x square plus c where c is constant okay also y oh this should be y and y equal to sine x then y equal to cos x okay so we will evaluate these functions using MATLAB how we can do that okay let's go to the MATLAB MATLAB then for example, x is 1 up to 200, okay, 1 up to 200, and for example, y is equal to x, because we know y equal to x, right, so the value of y will be the same of, same as x, right, so you want to plot this, plot, we have a plot function, so plot x comma y, then what you will see, we see the straight line and if you want to grid on the grid on then we'll see there is a grid okay so this is the x and this is the y okay in second function we'll see we'll evaluate y equal to x square so what would be the y equal to x square if you plot here y equal to x into x okay x into x is equal is called x square right or we can write x this sign 2 and this impl implies the power x to the power 2 okay so this is a function then we what was the problem inputs must be scalar or square matrix uh, oh so I made a, I made a wrong a mistake um, because uh, x is not a single value x is a uh, vector right x is x color um, x is a vector from 1 to 200 so we have to um, use each uh, each and every value of x uh, to get y right so what do we have to do from the multiplications rule we know about that y equal to x dot to the power 2 this I hope it will be working yeah so this is the x dot to the power 2 that means that every individual values will be powered okay so then we, will, we can get the value of y so if we plot x and y plot x comma y then what you will get you have got the curved line quadratic line yeah this definitely this shouldn't be a linear line this should be the quadratic line so we've got the quadratic line right okay so in the next uh, if you want to plot both y equal to x and y equal to x square then how we can do that it's very easy so let's see this is y1 and this is y2 right so, so let's make the clear screen clear x equal to 1 up to 200 okay so y1 is equal to x 
y2 y2 is equal to x dot to the power 2 then we will plot x plot both functions in same plot x comma y1 comma if you if you want uh, you can use dash dash or yeah x comma y2 so y2 you can use dash dash dot and i hope i hope this will be working yeah so we have got two functions uh y equal to x y1 this is almost linear and this is the card function uh, so this is the card function right okay so this is the x here x this is the first one y1 and this is the y2 this means the card function okay so if we if we have another function y3 is equal to x dot to the power cube then how we can plot this yeah copy and i'm gonna copy this so if we put here two we want three then we will see the plot this is the x1 uh, plot and this is the x cube x cube function dot dot so yeah this is the dot dot function so uh, if you want if you want to see this so this so this, this, this these values are are from y3 right dot and these values from y2 so this is the way how we can do that how, how we can easily do that so this is the function and how we can do that okay there are some arbitrary constant if we want some arbitrary constant then this is also the same way we can put some arbitrary constant here okay for example if you want to put some arbitrary constant so y2 plus t so let's say y4 is so y4 okay so every time uh, this value every time is value of x uh, we'll add another three arbitrary constant okay so let's plot 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 uh, okay well, if you want to see x comma x2 that means this one and this uh, this one so how we can do that x comma y slash dash dash slash x comma y4 dash slash dot okay and this should be the y2 yeah this should be the y2 and this is the y4 so let's see how it looks like how it looks like where's my other other point here so you see here right these are the part these are the cube the dot points are cube and dash points are the square and some arbitrary constants i i put some arbitrary constant here so if you see there's some distance and distance and distance distance between this point and this point is the t so this uh, uh 41.3 and this is 41 so this this is up to t right okay so these are the arbitrary constants of that so we can do that easily like this way okay Okay, let's evaluate uh, y uh, y five is equal to sine x sine x. Okay. Mm, undefined function variable. Uh, I think I have made some wrong. Uh, what it should be it or it should be like that y5 is equal to sine oh okay sine dot x maybe no it doesn't work as <laughs> let's see x dot maybe no it doesn't work okay don't worry about that x equal to 1 to 
0.1 interval up to 10 0.1 interval up to 30 okay y is equal to sine x uh, y doesn't work let's see why it doesn't work let's sign it how can do that yeah sine x at n sine into sine x maybe sine bracket x right i think it would be okay let's try yeah i i'm sure with that this is the sine bracket x so this one so back at x yeah it doesn't work okay so y 6 is equal to cos x so cos bracket x so we, this is the two arbitrary function if, if you want to plot this and draw so plot x comma y 5 dash 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 okay comma x comma y6 comma dash dash dot okay let's see yeah so we have got two functions in plot here so we have uh, x value range uh, up to 0 to up to 30 and definitely we have sine sine and cosine value from 1 to minus 1 okay so these dot values these dot values are y6 y6 is your cosine so these are the cosine values right okay and these are dash values are the sine sine x so this is the sine x okay so this is the way how we can plot mathematical functions or how we can uh, do some mathematical analysis so this is really very basic and this is very interesting i i, I hope uh, you you have understood this this is very easy and this very basic thing so you, i'm sure you i'm pretty sure that you have understood all about that okay let's uh, do our second example that is from uh, physics and that that is from physics and uh, which is uh, which is about the thermodynamics uh, which is from the thermodynamics uh, and that is the second law of uh, thermodynamics and which is pv equal to nrt where pv p equal to pressure pressure here in kilopascal and v volume in meter cube n equal to the moles of atoms moles of atoms yeah are equal to ideal gas constant which is um, 8.314 liter into kilopascal per mole per kelvin okay and this is the temperature in kelvin okay so uh, what we will evaluate this we want to uh, we want the plot and we want to see how the volume of a gas depends on pressure okay so we uh, we want um, we want to see how volume uh, depends uh, how volume depends or how pressure depends on volume so example something like this so we want to find out the v uh, from these equations that means we want to see how the volume of energetic gas depends upon the pressure okay if we put some uh, uh, constant temperature and constant moles of atoms and we have um, uh, ideal gas of constant okay so we will see that okay uh, let's go let's go there then <laughs> okay so let's go there sorry I mean, let's go to the math lab okay so Okay, so before going to start uh, this example, I'm going to show you another important um, functions of MATLAB that is really very helpful to write uh, code. Okay, and that is uh, a script. From if you go to file and go to the new, then you can find some script, function, class, figure, variable, model, GUI, and development project. So we'll we'll see and we will open a new script okay so what is the function of it okay we can write code here we, this, this is the script number is script number editor 3 
editor, you know, under LC, okay. And if we write code here, and easily we can modify this. Otherwise, if we write code here in MATLAB properties, we, we do have very limited options to modify or edit, okay. So, script or script or uh, script uh, properties or script bar here has a very helpful, is very helpful for us to writing, uh, to write codes or something like that, okay. So we will evaluate uh, PV equal to NRT, that is the second law of thermodynamics. Okay, so we have to save at first. Save, oh, save option is off. So at first you have to write something. Okay, so we have to, uh, if you want to add some comments, then we have to put the percentage, then we can write whatever. Okay, our if I add st first exam pl first example and that is pv equal to n r t okay so this one is the function okay so we want to see how pressure varies uh, we want to see how temperature varies um, how volume varies uh, uh, with pressure okay so let's at first define our pressure and how the pressure for example kilopascal it is okay so pressure if we uh, pressure at some pressure from 10 kilopascal to to 10 to the power uh, 1000 1000 kilopascal up to 1000 kilopascal that means 1 into e to the power 10 e to the power 3 up to 3 okay yeah n is equal to here the one mole so if you uh, if we say the moles of atoms is the if we add a one mole okay and r we have r equal to mm, so for example this is the r r equal to arbitrary an ideal gas constant this is not arbitrary ideal gas constant so 8.314 okay so T is equal to constant temperature. So constant temperature two, three, two seventy three. Yeah. So two seventy three. Okay. So we can see that. Is it now we can easily mm, find out the P. So we want we want volume. So volume would be volume V equal to NRT divided by. So if you want some mm, V, so V equal to V equal to NRT would be divided by P, right? P dot. P dot means every P dot means we have to uh, we can cal we can calculate volume, um, the number of pressure we added here, right? Okay. So you put one. So one interval. One interval. Okay. One interval. So. Uh, we, we, we have got this and uh, V equal to N multiplication with R multiplication with T. Okay, so uh, this should be divided by pressure. This should be divided. This should be divided by pressure dot P. This should be divided by dot slash p that is multiplication right this multiplication dot slash p okay so this is our uh, the function we have right here to find out the how the volume of a gas varies with pressure okay so if you want to plot periodic plot sorry periodic plot um b Sorry. Um, uh, x axis. So x axis would be the p pressure. So p comma v. Okay. So we want to see. The, we want to see that. Okay. So so at first save this. Okay. I'm gonna save here. Just make a folder. Px ampl example. And Example and this is the PAC thermo dynamics thermodynamics. Okay, so we have to add, add run the thermodynamics for them. So 
So we're going to run add to the path. So we have some error here. Undefined variable t. Okay. So we didn't define <laughs> what is the temperature. We didn't define what is the temperature. Uh, oh, okay. We define, but it's uh, here is a capital letter, but here is a small letter. So it should be capital letter as well. Okay. So press here, save, and add run this. Yeah. So you see uh, how temperature varies, uh, how volume varies with uh, arbitrary, how volume, uh, okay, so we have in x axis or level x, level, level, level x, PRE, double S value pressure, level uh, x should be pressure, right? Okay, level x should be level x sorry level x not x level x level so when this should be inverted comma yeah pressure in kilopascal kilo pa kilopascal kilopascal what sorry why the level your LUME volume so this should be uh, enclosed by inverted comma volume in meter cube in a meter cube okay or volume in liter meter cube in uh, there is guess it is later right volume in liter okay so this should be this okay so if we don't put if we remove this then we will uh, oh no we want to put here okay so save and we want to see here is the pressure is the pressure here and is the volume so what is the significance to write a code in editor or in script okay so we, we have already seen that then we can um, edit whatever uh, and however you want but uh, if we uh, have written here mm, in MATLAB structure, but uh, it would have really difficult for us to edit, right? So that's why you, you always use edit. If you put read on that, for example, you can easily add or subtract whatever you want. So read on, read on, okay. So if you run this, and again, um, why well, doesn't work? I think this should be here subtraction okay we have got some problem we on i think this should be after plotting might be let's see error in thermodynamics um uh, light eight so this shouldn't be a work read on oh i've made a mistake here yeah right agreed on okay so yeah we have got some grid here as well okay so we see if we increase our pressure if we increase our pressure okay we'll see the the volume of, of volume of that gas uh, will be decreased linearly okay it is a quadratic function this is a quadratic function so if we increase our pressure then the volume definitely will be decreased okay so if if you want to plot this function in uh, log log paper then we can we can do that as easy the same way okay so for example this is the log in log 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 paper log 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 okay so this one save run okay so see in in log log uh, or in semi log whatever it is in log log uh, plot we see that uh, with with increasing pressure with increasing pressure the volume decreases linearly but in non log log plot we see that yet uh, the pressure if we increase pressure then the volume decreases in quadratic in quadratic function this, this, because this functions are quadratic right if you plot here at and, and this is the quadratic function, definitely quadratic function, yeah. So this is not the linear. So definitely mm, we also see that right here. Okay, so we can also mm, 
So for example, this one is D1 and this one is the T1. So let's see how V1 varies with temperature. Okay. Uh, temperature and with pressure as well be, uh, between two days okay so if we if we put another temperature t2 is equal to say 1000 1000 kelvin and same say for example this is the v2 this is the v2 and this should be the T2, T2, and this should be the T1. Then let's see what happens. That means we want to see how the volume depends also on temperature as well. Okay, so this is V1. Let's see here. It is dash, comma, P, B2. Oh, sorry, P, comma, B2 comma as this dot here the dot okay this dot functions yeah now let's see how this varies for example let's see this is the dot uh, the temperature if you want to see here let's see so for example here is the end of the function okay. so dash function dash function is a I think this is a point function right yeah this is a point function yeah. so uh, the green one is the point the green one is that means in 1000 temperature and uh, and in And the uh, dash one is the uh, 2000 that means the zero zero kelvin temperature that is the 1000 kelvin temperature so we also we can also see we, we, we have also seen that here how temperature affects uh, the volume not only the pressure the temperature also affects to the volume reduction okay so that me, uh, so we can analyze this this is we can analyze also this way in equation so if we pull if we increase the number of moles then how it can vary okay for example n1 n1 equal to 1 and we, we, we can also see that how uh, the uh, number of moles per at uh, moles of atoms also affect the equations or gas volume uh, we can also see that n2 equal to for example this is the um, 100 okay 100 so this one is the 1 and this one is this one the 2 Let's see. Yeah. In this case, uh, the most dramatic thing, the most dramatic or most important thing is that uh, uh, here. L let's see. And this is almost the same thing <laughs> uh, for, uh, for for in in zero degree Celsius temperature, um, where the mole is one and for 1000 G the mole is 100 so let's see how this varies uh, how this varies okay yeah so more also affects the uh, mole most also affect the gas volume in this analysis okay so this is also important so this is the way how we can use MATLAB for your physics or chemistry or mathematics problem in the next example I'm gonna teach you about other two uh, uh, other two examples from the, one example would be from the gravitational acceleration that means how G varies with M and R and okay so for some arbitrary arbitrary values of R and for some arbitrary values a, M um, uh, we can uh, uh, we can come to some conclusions how G varies okay so we will also uh, compute some uh, compute G in case of in case of uh, for both Earth and for both for both Earth and Moon. Okay, so we have some data of Moon and uh, of Moon's mass and Moon's radius, and we have some data of 
uh, uh, radius of the earth and mass of the earth. Okay, so from this uh, data we can calculate the uh, gravity acceleration due to gravity of earth and acceleration due to gravity of moon. Okay, then we can we will also evaluate how it varies with uh, constant uh, mass and constant gravitational gravitational constants, but variable r. And we will also evaluate how g varies with variable r's uh, or, uh, same radius or variable mass. Okay. So we will also evaluate this in th this this equation in the next next example. Okay. We will also evaluate another another problem which is from the mechanics and that is about the spring constant. We, we know some of the spring constant uh, f equal to k x and this problem is taken from the uh, Stephen J. Chemsman's book, MATLAB Programming for Engineers, which is published in uh, 2007. Okay, we will, we will also evaluate uh, if we add some arbitrary forces with constant arbitrary with uh, uh, with some uh, spring constant, then how we can evaluate the potential energy and the displacement x. Okay, so in the next example, I'm gonna show this. Okay, I hope you have understood these two uh, equations or these two uh, mathematical functions and thermodynamic, uh, therm thermodynamics example very well. I hope you have understood this. Hopefully, I'm gonna, uh, sh I'm, uh, hopefully I'm, uh, I'm going to see you all in next video. Thank you very much for being with us.